Hi, my name is Eddie Jackson Jr. And this is Real True Street Crime. Let's have a seat at the table today for today's story. We're going to talk about a brother named Dave Goff. Understand that. Look on Instagram if you want to see this letter, what Dave Goff said. Let me explain to you who Dave Goff is. Dave Goff was in penitentiary with my father in Leavenworth, Kansas City, Federal Con Correctional Prison System. That's where Dave Goff came from. Dave Goff was an airplane pilot. Understand this about him and listen at this real carefully. He could have gotten away only if he had thrown the dope overboard, but he thought he could land and beat the feds and get away before they caught up to him. Understand this cause he knew he was coming down hot. They had popped him on the radar. He was flying a little single craft airplane from Kansas City to Mexico, a little farm over there and back. This is what he was in Kansas City, Leavenworth Penitentiary Jail for, making a flight from Kansas City to Mexico to pick up some narcotics. Now let me explain to you Dave Goff. Dave Goff got out of jail. He said to me, Eddie, my father went and had me talk to him and he told me he wanted to put his plane together back and fly back to Mexico and start back getting packages in. But the plane was broke down was the problem and he needed some money to fix the plane. Now at this exact same time, Demetrius had faked his death. And at this exact same time, I'm telling y'all, Fat Steve and KK and Lawrence, them that summer lead thing I told y'all about, this is when I went and talked to Five to partner up and see if he wanted to get some top grade hair iron. And of course, a real hustler is gonna say, yeah, so he gave me the $30,000. This is how the move jumped. Now I took the 50 up to Dave Golf. He's on the little farm working on the airplane, putting it together, showing me he need parts for this, parts for that, parts for that. I say, Dave, this one thing we need to know if uh, that thing is even worth flying over there getting. So Dave Goff set up a move for me to go to El Paso, Texas, which I wound up going across the border to Mexico to meet the connect. He didn't even speak English. Me and Temp went to get a sample of the dope. My father explained this to me. He said, hey, you listen to me and you listen to me damn careful. You go over there, you get a sample of the dope, you put it in the balloon, you have Tim swallow it, and y'all come back through customs. Don't bring anything else, just that. Everything else, Dave Goff will take care of if you like the dope, he'll go back and get the rest. As long as y'all give him 50,000 to fix the plane. And that's exactly what we did. Went to Mexico, I got five grams of that shit and it would knock a motherfucking bull out. Top grade heroin, 90% pure. Now let me explain to y'all, I shot and got the money from five and the other 20 I had. Now I'm running with Demetrius cause Demetrius done faked his death. So I say, okay, we gonna go and do this. And I'm already feeling, you know, something might happen to D. You know how I, like five got shot by KK, so I'm putting together the move to be on top, regardless to what happens. So I go get the 30,005, take the 20 I had, go give it to Dave Goff. <clears throat> this is the letter you see, read it. It's on Instagram. Now, after that, Demetrius fake his death. He had already done that. Five get shot by Lawrence and KK and it's me and his move. Let me explain to you how the move went down and what the move was supposed to be worth. Dave Goff had a little single engine plane. It could only fit about 200 grams of top grade heroin, 200 keys. Please forgive me. It could only hold about 200 keys, look like in flower sack bags, which the farmers made up. Understand two big flower sack bags is all the little single airplane could hold, but it was 200 keys 
is what it could hold. Now let me explain to y'all when they say dope ain't worth nothing nowhere but in America. Let me tell you for a 90% pure heroin, which I had already seen and had a test of 200 keys. Understand each key we were supposed to pay Dave Goff $5,000 a key. So we was going to get 200 keys at $5,000 a key for 90% pure hair, Ron. Cocaine hang have nothing to do with this. Demetrius was my bird that had all the cocaine and my bird in the bush was supposed to be this big time hair, Ron Connect that would blow past that. Understand this, at $5,000 a key, 90% pure hair, Ron, you on top. And this is what Dave Goff promised to deliver. I didn't went and seen the dope everything but somehow chaos erupted during the move understand this and i don't like to hold you too long but i got to tell you now i'm running with d i cannot be running back and forth to kansas city like that he was in wichita kansas at that time i'm selling keys like a motherfucker and i told y'all a bird in the hand beat anything in the bush so I had to work the bird in the hand and the bush had to wait. Understand that the cocaine was on the flow, plenty keys, even though the move I had with Dave Goff was more plentiful, it was in the bush. Understand that it was in the bush. Brother Deacher, Brother Demetrius was in the hand. So I took the bird in the hand and ran like 40 going north with Demetrius. Understand this. I figured after I finished running with him, I would swing back and catch back up to Dave Goff. Imagine this now. Five is shot. <clears throat> Demetrius playing dead. And I'm fucking with Dave Goff in Kansas City trying to run birds out of Detroit. Understand this? Trying to run French Road 24-7. Trying to run all the runs Demetrius need me to do when he ain't around. And... Understand this, me and D had to stay up late, late, late night. And understand when you up late, late, late night, that's when the Grim Reaper, the Grim Reaper was creeping. That's when the Grim Reaper was creeping. Understand this, when you see a motherfucker say late, 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 to see the big time money move, drug moves being made, a motherfucker finna get laid out for good. Check this out. Now, I go back to see Dave Goff. I'm running with Demetrius. Five is shot. He in the hospital. Next time I hear from him, he's in jail with my father. I'm running to Kansas City and I'm running birds with Demetrius. So I get down to Kansas City and what you think happened? Man, motherfuckers went to calling me from everywhere. He went to calling. Customers went to calling. French Road ran out of dope. Everybody ran out. I said, uh, let me get on back. Dave Goff asked me, Eddie, uh, I want to make the move, but I need X amount and this and that. I said, Dave, check this out. I'm in the middle of some big shit. I'll get right back with you, bro. I promise. I got to go take care of this situation first, and then I'll get back with you. The situation I was dealing with to take care of was months. When I finally swung back around and got to Dave Goff, he was gone. Understand, he had moved. Understand that. So this is real true street crime. Eddie Jackson Jr. saying check out Brittany Michelle Simmons, a fine attorney over there. Check that letter out on Instagram as well. Dave Goff wrote me. This is Real True Street Crime. Subscribe, share, and like. And remember this, at $6,000 a key for pure hair iron, 90% pure, 200 keys. Understand this, that was the mother load for us. And I thought in my mind after that, I might be out. But you see what happened. As the Godfather said, Tony, they sucked me right back in. Dave Goff disappeared and I got sucked back in running with Demetrius and running back up to New York after he got killed with the seventh dwarf. Hey, Dave Goff was the move me and five put together. 
me and Fat Steve 5 -0. Peace and love. Check out Jelani's Tasting Table. World-class chef over there. Can't be beat. Check out th Top Tier Cuts 313. Super Ken for the weekend. Check out Motown Mafia Podcast on Spotify. Check out Big Boss Film on YouTube. Check out Coney Island Chronic on YouTube. And as I told y'all, I don't like to hold you. So I got to wind it up to you now. And as I always say, check out Clance and Matt Calf Loud Delivery out of Highland Park, Michigan. But I also got to say, I don't want to hold you, but I got to let you go. This is Real True Street Crime. Subscribe, share, and like, and check us out over there on <clears throat> podcast, Motown Mafia with Real True Street Crime podcast following it up. Subscribe, share, and like, and thank you to all of you who view me and take a minute out your day to give me a look. So I have to say thank you. Check out the Dave Golf Story out of Kansas City. And I got a few more out of there. A brother named Hudson out of Kansas City used to hustle with my father. And I'm going to tell you a little about him. Little Mr. Mean is what they used to call him. Little Mr. Mean. So subscribe, share, and like, and I'm going to keep the stories coming for you. Go over there to Crime Town Kingpin's Kids on Spotify, and I'm going to be seeing a lot of you all. That goddamn Dave Goff wouldn't throw the dope out the plane and wound up in Leavenworth, Kansas City with the fat man and a whole lot of military brothers they used to always bring out the military because Leavenworth Kansas City was a living was a penitentiary prison for the government but this is where Dave Goff came from subscribe share and like and I should definitely keep the stories coming check out Brittany Simmons check her out and she will definitely help you out corporate wheels divorces anything like that Simmons Law Check her out. She should help you out. And in the end of the words of the fat man, I'm going to be seeing a lot of you all. Ha <laughs> ha!